Hi guys, Nika is here. A quick update on my sub. I'm looking closer to this and I'm finding new damage. So you see here this part. It's not bad actually, but here we have some kind of a hill. So it's probably when the heat was to this side and this moves the probably the front the whole front part a little probably one quarter of inch to the left but it would was enough to create a deformation here but I hope it's not a big deal so I'm just remove it the whole part and we'll just flatten it of course it caused some damage here behind the uh, headlight as well and I guess well, this uh, the metal is torn but I'm going to weld it no problem uh, actually it's not a problem uh, the whole this uh, metal part is uh, uh, has damage but it's probably easy to put it in place the metal is rather thin no problem I still don't know if uh, this uh, fender went to the right side it seems it's it's okay it seems the gaps here and here are not that bad probably not uniform probably a little slight it's a little slightly to the left but when we will so the idea is to move the whole uh, front part to pull it to the right side to, well to the left from the driver to the right from us now so it will be okay uh, here is i already showed you one more thing i have issues with radiator so this is the main radiator and you see this this shouldn't be like this it's broken uh, I put some epoxy here JB weld but I want to be clear that it's it is not a repair it is temporary fix you see the water it's clean clean water it's not coolant there there's no coolant there it's dripping before this it was like pouring down but this is I just need it to hold for 10 minutes uh, so I can move the car to the garage I also have some oil leaks here I don't know where from take oil leak here I need to look at it closer this this part is uh, also looks damaged but we will see what I can do with this uh, so you always find some these things invisible on photos invisible on pictures uh, when you buy this car this damn slight damage but it's just one minute fix uh, that's why I'm always telling that you should be very careful if you buy a damaged car uh, from Copart or any other place you will find something you will find something which you don't expect and you better be prepared to this as I told I bought this car to learn some things and it's not, it's not a big deal but if I would like to like to repair it and to sell it, it it would be a problem another thing i decided to keep this uh, fender i will try to repair it so the idea is to uh, learn uh, something on bodyworks i never worked with bodyworks on such place but it doesn't look like it's uh, beyond repair we just need to pull it we need to uh, recreate the shape let's see how it is possible or not I hope I will uh, do 
uh, the best with it. What I don't like here, the gap is actually looks good, but the uh, top part of the fender is a little, slightly a couple of millimeter uh, uh, moved to the back comparing to another side. So don't know is it a problem or not. Is it a big problem or not? Of course it is a problem. <laughs> well, so my biggest concern for now not radiator, radiator I can repair. I, I'm going to replace it. It costs probably 100, 200 dollars. Uh, not the end of the world. My biggest concern now is the geometry of the car. I'm going to disassemble front part and see what's inside. Uh, we already see here the damage it will be need it will we will have to pull it. I don't know if there any damage inside uh, this side beam. Uh, we'll see. I'm going to disassemble all, all this part and see. So for this I will bring it to body shop. Uh, and this part and uh, uh, hood I'm going to repair it myself. Uh, by the way, if you are experienced uh, uh, body master, body professional, if you uh, ha has experience with this structural things, I would love to hear your opinion, to see your opinion in uh, comments. Uh, please tell me what you think about this and uh, how bad it really <laughs> is. Um, I saw videos that people do, uh, people repair things uh, much worse than it is. Uh, but I just want, if you can help me with your opinion, I would really appreciate this. So, but for now, my first uh, task is to move this car to gar the garage. And the, uh, why I didn't do it yet? Because I don't have a key for this car and without the key my steering wheel is locked but I already removed uh, the computer, the common computer uh, from this car and send it to um, uh, locksmith to program the new key I didn't film this process but uh, there is a uh, whole bunch of videos uh, in the internet and on the YouTube uh, how to remove the uh, airbag, the steering wheel, the computer. So I didn't do one more video because I couldn't add something to it. But I already, actually today I received the computer and hopefully the key back and I'm going to install it tomorrow and hopefully I will be able to start the car. If not, the as minimum, I, I want to unlock the wheel. You see, it's locked now. Uh, I would like to unlock the wheel, the steering wheel, and uh, at least push or move or tow the car to my garage. Uh, hopefully, the radiator, if, if it starts, the, hopefully the radiator will uh, give me 10 minutes to do it. But let's see. We'll be back soon.
Okay, fingers crossed. It works, it works, it works. So, mission completed, the car is in garage, and now I can start to work with her uh, in real. So I'm going to disassemble all damaged parts, and we'll see what's going on underneath, and how we can repair it, and if it is possible to repair, I will repair it. So thank you very much for watching, if you like this video, Please subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. If you don't like, please do not hesitate to give me a thumbs down and write something in the comments. Well, write something in the comment anyway. So thank you very much and you have a very good day and see you next time.